Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kieran. So I have been sharing videos this week. Um, I just recently like rebranded my channel um, and I wanted to share videos with you guys. Um, kind of trying to share a video like every day. Um, but I came home with a plan to edit a video today and I just started struggling with editing it and I started struggling with some intrusive thoughts. And so I just, I edited the whole video and then I went to upload it and I just completely like froze and got stuck in this like spiral of intrusive thoughts. And so I, I was, I was frustrated and I was, you know, upset because I worked so hard on it for, you know, about an hour or so, which, you know, isn't that long, but you know, it was still time that I took and I was just going to not post anything, but then I decided this would be a good time for me to talk with you guys and take the camera and just sort of share with you what's going on um, and just give you some information on like how I'm how I struggle sometimes. So I just so you know, this video is going to contain a lot of conversation about mental health and my life with a severe obsessive compulsive disorder. I did include a disclaimer at the beginning, but I still like to also just say if that's something that might be upsetting to you, please do not feel like you have to watch it. This is just me like coming to you guys and just wanting to be honest and and open with how I'm struggling right now. So um, I've been sharing recently that I seem to have found the right medication for me, the right combination of medication and therapy for me to help with my severe OCD. But even though it is helping a lot. There are times when I'm still struggling, and tonight is just one of those times that it's kind of difficult. I had a pretty good week overall. Um, I, Even though I said in my previous video about OCD or that I mentioned it in, that the weekend before was kind of difficult, this week was actually pretty good. I was able to do some reorganizing in my classroom, some redecorating. I was also you know, posting YouTube videos every single day, which I haven't done I don't think ever. Um, I think this will be like the sixth video in a row that I'm sharing. So overall, I was having like a pretty good week with everything, all things considered. And so today I had planned to um, edit a Disney vlog. I was going to call it like a long lost Disney vlog because Sean and I went to Disney World in 2019 and I edited one video in that series and I was going to share everything else with you guys. But when I looked at the video, and I think it might have all started when I really started getting into that footage from 2019. Um, and I think it's for a few reasons. It'll make more sense when I talk with you guys. So I sort of think that's what sort of triggered the intrusive thoughts that I'm struggling with right now. Um, so I started getting into the footage from 2019. I saw that when I posted the video, the first vlog that I made for the Disney trip, I edited and re-upload that video, re-uploaded that video five times. And that was definitely something that was related to my OCD. I remember struggling so much with that video and watching it back. And even if you watch the video, it's very like choppy. It's very like cut really quick um, because I was trying to avoid so many things that in my head I couldn't share on YouTube. Um, but they were things like like the airport or, you know, like I just was very, being very sensitive and having so many intrusive thoughts about that. And so I edited and re-uploaded that video five times. And when I looked on my hard drive, I saw like Disney vlog part one, upload five or something. And I was just like, oh my gosh, that was like the beginning of when I was getting really sick again. Um, and like I've said, I've had OCD my entire life, but I've had like times where it's been really difficult and other times where it's been more manageable. And over the past several years, probably like 2020 and 2021 in particular, and part of 2022 were really, really difficult. Mainly the most difficult was 2020, I would say into 2021. Um, so yeah, so that trip to Disney was sort of like right before all of that happened. Um, and so in my head, I was like, oh my gosh, like it put me right back into that place where I was when I was like, the video was never perfect enough. I was always finding mistakes, you know, um, and needing to edit like tiny clips out or ask Sean if it, if something I was sharing was okay. Like I would ask like, is this face that I'm making in the video 
appropriate, you know, um, it's in, and, and like I said before, like, I do want to share more with you guys about like more specifics about the intrusive thoughts, but they're very personal. Um, some of them I'm, um, I'm more comfortable sharing with you guys than others, but it's kind of like to have somebody understand what they mean and what, what their significance is to you you have to explain a lot and it's sort of just like opening yourself up and I just don't want to do that at this point. But, um, so that was the first part. And the other thing that was making me upset was that I felt like I was watching somebody that like I couldn't believe was me. Does that make sense? Like I recognized the person and I knew who that was, but I was like, oh my gosh, like, wow, you were able to like pick this thing up off the ground you were able to do all of these things and I kind of felt sad you know I was starting to feel like the footage was starting to make me upset in um in a way because I was like missing that time in my life I guess if that makes sense um and missing how I felt at that time not that that time wasn't difficult because in when we were actually in Disney I had a really bad panic attack on one day um, and it was, it was awful. I just sat in Epcot sobbing, um, because of something that happened and watching the footage kind of reminded me of that too. So while it did remind me of like how much, how much more functional I was at the time, it also did remind me at the same time, you know, like I was still sick, you know, I've always been, I've always struggled with OCD. Yeah. So like, it just reminded me of so many things. All of that to say, I edited this whole video to share with you guys. I was getting ready to um, upload it and then I just stopped and I was like, I can't because I started going through and trying to edit tiny little clips out that in my mind I couldn't share with you guys and it just felt like like a spiral. It felt like I was starting to spiral down into what I was struggling with when I shared the first video and I was like, you know what, I'm not, I can't do it. Um, and I was getting ready to just say, you know what, no video for tomorrow. But that's when I decided to pick up the camera and talk with you guys about it. So um, I would love to share the Disney vlog with you guys, even though it was from 2019. Right now it's kind of hard. Right now it just seems to be upsetting me for some reason. And so I'm just going to, I'm taking a step back from it. But there are, when I was editing it, there were some really funny moments. Like at one point we went on that ride, what's it called? Spaceship Earth, I think. And we didn't know they were taking our picture. And they, so they actually, for some reason, didn't get Sean's picture at all. But the face that I was making in my picture was so funny. And we just, I have like footage of us like laughing so much at that and just thinking it was so funny. And so, yeah, I really want to share that with you, but... I'm being respectful of myself, and I think that's something that's been really key to me um, feeling better is that I'm just respecting myself and not getting upset if something isn't going the way I thought it was going to go, and you know, also not getting upset that the medication isn't making everything go away, if that makes sense. Because for a while, I really struggled with feeling better on the medication, but then I would have an intrusive thought or I would be struggling with a compulsion and it just felt like I was not doing as well as I thought. And that's not the case. It's definitely, you know, the medication doesn't keep me from having OCD. I still have OCD. The medication helps me function and helps me get through those times when I'm really struggling. And it, it makes, um, it almost, it's like, I don't know how, if this makes sense, but like, before, when I was struggling really severely with my OCD, I would have like a thought and it would like get to a point in my brain, like it couldn't get over to the other side to complete the thought, if that makes sense, where it's like the medication allows that process to happen. So I'm able to think through an intrusive thought to the end. And instead of, you know, getting stuck in between and and just getting stuck on that thought and that's when the compulsions happen because they're it's the compulsions are a way for you to in your mind um alleviate that anxiety that you're feeling because of the intrusive thought so the medication just sort of it, it like connects 
for me, that's, I'm trying to describe it, you know, it connects the, um, it connects my thoughts, I guess, in a way that they can travel more easily and they don't get stuck like halfway, if that makes sense. Because, you know, in your head, you get an intrusive thought for, at least for me, I get an intrusive thought and then it automatically in my head goes to the worst situation where now, and then that's when I would have, I would start engaging in the compulsions. Um, but now I might still have an intrusive thought. They're definitely far fewer, but I might still have an intrusive thought. And then it just, it like, I get like nervous and then I can think it through right away and then just move on. And that's been huge. Um, so yeah, I started to get a little upset because I really wanted to share that Disney vlog with you. And those thoughts just started coming back in my head and I, wanted to just respect myself, take a step back, and um, maybe look at it later, see if I feel differently later. But I am, I'm respecting my feelings and just taking a break from it. But I think the important thing too is that I'm coming to you guys and talking about it because that's really what I want to be able to, to do. I want to be able to share with you guys how I'm feeling and you know, share what's going really well. You know, definitely the medications help me, but also to share when things are a little more difficult. And I guess just right now, it kind of feels like that, especially because I've been this week, like I said, I've been really trying to like share a video every day and um, try to stay on top of all of my work. And, and this was like, okay, I was going to get home from work. Um, I did a little thrifting first, but you know, got home from the thrift store and then I was going to edit this video and I had it planned in my head and then, you know, you never expect that intrusive thought to happen and, you know, I was able to though think about like, what could I do in that moment? Aside from tonight though, I have had some intrusive thoughts this week that I've really been able to push through like a rock star, I'll have to say. Mm, sorry, intrusive thoughts, sorry. <sighs> Ugh, I hate it so much. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, I'm trying to push through. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm really still struggling with this injury spot. Ugh. This is really hard. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, guys, that it's. I'm having such a hard time. But... Overall, even though I'm struggling in this moment right now, even though I'm having a hard time getting through this intrusive thought, and I think posting this will be a big deal because it's like making me nervous, but, um, you know, I'm able to get through these things much quicker. Like I had a panic attack yesterday morning, I think, and it was maybe like two minutes. It was like really, really quick. And... Even Sean was like, wow, like you, normally when I start to have a panic attack, it can last for minutes, hours, like it can last a long time, but it was just a couple minutes and then I was okay. And he was like, you know, good for you. Like he was proud, you know, that I was able to kind of calm myself down and refocus and, you know, get ready and everything like that. So yeah, I feel like I'm rambling now. All of that to say, I just wanted to stop here and talk with you guys for a few minutes and let you know that um, some days are easier than others. And I just always think of like one of those like line plot graphs. Is that what it's called? I don't even remember. I don't do math and graphs and things like that. I always say that to my students. I'm always like, I am not a math teacher, but um. Like, you know, the graph set that's like has the little points on it and then it shows like you have like the point that's like here and here, but then there might be one a little bit lower and then one that goes higher and everything. And the trend though overall is good. And so I have to remind myself that even though I have these difficult moments, I'm still trending better. I'm still, you know, feeling overall feeling better, even if I struggle every so often. So 
yeah, I just want to say that I love you guys and you're all so important to me and I'm so thankful that I can come to you guys and talk with you when I'm feeling a little nervous and I hope that I can provide support and encouragement to others who are struggling. Know that you are not alone in this journey, um, that there are so many people who feel similarly to you and um, and I, I, I understand what what it's like. I understand the struggle and I understand how difficult it can be and how life altering it can be and how, um, debilitating it can be. But I just want you to know from my story that I found something that works. I found psychiatrist led medication and therapy, like a, a system that works for me. And, um, you know, just know that you're not alone and I, I love you and I care about you and I see you and I understand you and um, I think that's important for people to hear, you know, because it can be a very isolating journey, um, especially because, you know, like the compulsions and the obsessions make sense fully only to you, um, only to the person who is struggling with them. And so you feel like, like you're alone at times because even to just describe why you're doing something or where the intrusive thought comes from, it's a very personal process and it's a very personal thing and um, it's based on your life experiences and your you know and your history and um, so even to fully let somebody in on that it's it's hard it's really hard even if you want to you know I feel like Sean understands a lot about my OCD and he understands like what makes me nervous and he understands more more than um almost as much as I understand, but not everything. Um, but it's hard because it only makes sense. It, it, it full, only fully makes sense to you. Thank you all so much for listening. And um, I hope that I can support and encourage you. And um, if you have any questions, leave those in the comments below. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.